Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Mastermind Creations Perfection Series uh, Ocular Max PS21 Medicus, their version of first aid from the um, Protectabot team. We're gonna put this van off to the side real quick. We're gonna look at this box, which yes, it's a very uh, G1-esque box, kind of a weird mix of Diaclone and D1. You got a nice bit of artwork there. You got the all built-in logo and PS21, and he's a doctor, you know. You know, all this stuff, and you got a, uh, you got the stuff, the couple uh, pictures on the top and the fair. You got um, the artwork, nice the artwork there on the side. You got more artwork there. And hey, look, uh, silhouettes of the other members of the team, which we have not seen too many of them yet. Um, we got, of course, warnings and stuff, more of the silhouettes down here, very small versions. And uh, you got the transformation stuff and all that stuff. And of course, the tech spec -y stuff, which, yep, once again, comes with a little red filter so you can do the whole tech spec thing and just like the old G1 toy. Yeah, he's also packaged into robot mode in this. Of course, besides the uh, tech spec decoder thing, you got, of course, a uh, card, which, yep, yeah, mine's a little bent. Came like that. Got that card, which I was on the back. Yeah, you got the whole uh, tech specs again, and then bio and all that stuff in a vehicle mode. They spelled vehicle wrong. <laughs> Whoops. And of course the instructions, which yep, very uh, uh, G1 styling, although, you know, uh, I guess CAD renders instead of, you know, drawings, but yeah, um, that whole thing. Uh, and this all goes from robot to vehicle because he, again, he's packaged in robot mode this time. I guess internationally, it doesn't matter where you get it. It's always packaged in robot mode. But yeah. So Medicus, AKA first aid. Yes, he is a van. You can see a white ambulance van thing. He's got emergency written on the side there and he's got the uh, the the lights pick right there and red translucent plastic you got a translucent window it's kind of a um very light very very light bluish gray grayish blue i guess right here you can see a little bit inside there it's a it kind of looks like a console and seats a little bit not a whole it's one of those things you use your imagination these these are painted windows instead of translucent and yeah um because of how transforms i can see why they're not using translucent plastic thank god they're not um, this would have been most, uh, otherwise this and basically this entire, this entire section would have had been translucent plastic because the inserts would not have been viable. A large chunk of this would have been in, uh, yeah, translucent plastic instead. And they got instead of these sky blue painted windows, even little things, little notches picked out right there for the, uh, like handles cause they slide back here. You got the taillights picked out in yellow. You got silver for the bumper area. You got a windshield wiper picked out. You got the, you got, emergency, you got a weird triangle circle thing. I think that's a symbol for something. You got the door, the door handles picked out. You even got a rubber mirror. So you got the rubbery. You got a little bit of silver, good reflective silver on them as well. And you got all this stuff picked out in paint as well. And you got the rims picked out and there's actual rubber tires. At least, it's, yeah, they're definitely a rubbery material. Yeah. And of course, he rolls. He actually doesn't, he's got a lot of friction here. Yeah, there's actually a lot of friction on the wheels, but he does actually roll. He just he's not gonna yeah, he's not gonna go flying off. He, but he does roll with no problem as long as you roll him yourself. So there's that, all that stuff. Yeah, very nice little uh, van. It's you know, it was a Nissan it's very much inspired by the old Nissan van, you know, a lot of the old van transformers were based on. In fact, to the point of here he is with the MP Ironhide. Yeah, the Ironhide's a little taller. Uh, he sits a bit higher overall. Got the camper shell as well, but yeah, overall, um, it's pretty close to the same dimensions. There's some aesthetic, um, you can see some clear aesthetic uh, adjustments made here and there, but largely it's pretty close to the same van. It's one of those things, it's like, it's fine. I'm, yeah, I know Ratchet would have been more of a appropriate, but I'm not getting my Voodoo Robots Ratchet out. He's a pain, and he's kind of annoying to transform compared to the Ironhide. So yeah, just putting with Ironhide. And, um, one other vehicle mode comparison is, yeah, here he is with a MP10B, I guess, just for size. Because, yeah, it's like um, MP49 and stuff, as much as I like transforming, it, it takes a while and I don't have a whole lot of time. So, uh, instead, you get this. And the MP10 is much faster to transform. So, you get the same size in the end. So, yeah, you get that idea. So, yep. Yeah, it's a very nice little vehicle mode. Very, actually, you can feel like a bunch of stuff is packed in there, for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get him to transform to arm mode real quick, and we'll talk a little bit more about that.
that's the arm mode. And yep, it's uh, it sure is an arm. <laughs> Again, I think there's no uh, no other protective bots out yet from MMC. Uh, they've only got a couple renders for some of the other robots. But yeah, you can see he's very much an arm and um, yep, new hands, which can pose a little bit better for the most part than the old ones. There's the wrist swivel's a little more um, limited, not only slightly. Like the, again, the the um, the original on um, Impetus, the the wrist can swivel 145 degrees. This can swivel 130 degrees. So it's almost, but not quite the same. And but the thing is, he has the added bonus of finger splay, which the which the Assaults team does not have. So there's finger splay there and. On top of that, you got this uh, hinge as well, which can help with some things, you know, kind of adjust how the palm sits and whatnot. So you got that all that stuff. Um, one thing that's a little annoying is something a lot of us have picked up on real quick, which is when you try to bend the elbow, which this is not a ratchet anymore. This is a friction hit, but it's a very tight friction hinge. You notice, uh, I try to bend this and that starts popping, at least starts popping out. So you, as, it is, as it is right now, you have to, if you, when you bend the elbow, you have to hold this, these down in place so that you can actually bend the elbow. But uh, that's a little annoying. And yeah, you still got a bit of a, you know, quite the curl, I guess. But yeah, there's um, that, unfortunately. Of course, also if you wanna, I guess be full G1, you can also pop this out like that. So it's like, you know, it looks like that. <laughs> if you wanna do that. But yeah. Um, yeah, largely, it's a pretty good looking arm. It's, you know, a nice uh, beefy thing. You know, there's no gapping or anything. So, looks good. The only thing is right here is this little bit, I guess, is it might be annoying some people, but you know, it's kind of one of those that kind of has to be this way. But, uh, just to just show, them up, let's show off real quick. Yep, uh, got a Saltus here. Which, it is, it is pretty much compatible. The arms will be swappable. The only thing is, it's a little weird. because These are keyed a little different than the, the, the Impetus one. So you have to, on Impetus, I will just, you know, pop it in like this. With this one, I have to put it upside down here. And also on top of that, it clicks harder into place, but it still works. It overall still works. Yep, that's the thing. Yeah, so if you want to, I'm not sure the extent, like say the legs will be tran um, um, cross compatible, but definitely the arms are so far. So yeah, if you want to do Scramble City, you can do Scramble City. Just, you know, that definitely locks in a lot more securely than um, Impetus did, even though Impetus already pretty secure in its own right. It's even more secure with uh, Medicus here. Yep, arm mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy into robot mode. And uh, then we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing I did forget actually, and before I do that, um, I did forget to mention the van mode, which is weapon storage. He can actually store his weapon right here. And yeah, it can unfold out like that. And the thing is when I unfold it, I've noticed that gun tends to pop out. But yeah, it just can just, just uh, slide in right there and make sure it's flush on this side. Make sure the gun is flush against the panel. And then you can, Thing is, it doesn't like it's not a super solid connection, but you know it's not a huge deal once you know pressed against this stuff. So once you get it, you know all folded up and tabbed in. And once you get it all folded up and tabbed in, it usually is uh, fine. All right, so good. now I'm gonna go ahead and get him to robot mode and we'll continue on with this uh, review.
Yep, here's the robot mode, which, yeah, it looks a lot like the old G1 cartoon. They could, so probably took a couple of couple liberties here and there because, well, I mean, particularly with like, how thick the legs are because, well, and thighs in particular, just because, well, it has to still transform into the leg mode. You can't just cheat like the animation can. So you got that. A couple things on mine on those th on this this panel for whatever reason does not like to stay tabbed in sometimes I uh, sometimes I don't know what it is but I, if I just push it in for a while it'll eventually just hold yeah, it's also very finicky so that's one weird thing about my day there it goes again I don't know what that's about I genuinely don't know why but it feels like something's slightly off there um yeah it's a little annoying One of the panels, this, this, again, this panel right here, uh, I think the glue failed because yeah, it comes off really easily now and the other panel's solid, but yeah, I think this something about something about that leg. It's not uh, the end of the world, but it is a little annoying and I'm um, trying to figure out how to fix the, all that stuff. But yeah, he also got, still got his gun, which, you know, can unfold and tab in his hand again. It's a. It's the weird thing they do where MMC for some reason likes to do with their Ocular Max stuff, which is uh, the tabs on the back of the handle, which is really annoying because like this doesn't hold at all until you wrap the fingers around. And then it's actually pretty solid once you get the fingers wrapped around, but until then it's really loose and doesn't actually hold at all. Then you think it's just mostly a guidance tab. But yeah, it's somewhat solid once you get the fingers. I mean, it's not going to drop it anytime soon, but it's also not too difficult to just, yeah, just accidentally knock it out of his hand a bit. So that's a thing to watch out for. That's weird over design oversight in my opinion. And you can see a lot of red pops up in this uh, mode. You can see also nice, nice, very dark blue visor there, the white face plate, the red helmet. You got a lot, various shades of red and a little bit of white all the way down. And then you get to the big just thighs of just white. Got them, yeah, it's still got the Vans stuff on the side here and white leg or right arms, I should say. In this mode, one thing that people um, don't like are the arms, for sure. Uh, yeah, but overall, and also on top of that, you can see like the, the hands, you can kind of see them back here. But for the most part, you don't really see the hands as well as long as this panel stays tabbed in. That's the thing. It feels, yeah, something feels like it's pressing it back out. It makes me wonder if something's like there's some extra plastic on the hinge itself or something. Because it feels like something's pushing on it that shouldn't. I don't know. Um, might not have the hand in there correctly. He just looked really nice. Uh, posability though, his head, ball joint, so left and right. You got up and down. You got the lots of waggle. Um, there's also this hinge from the transformation, which sometimes will give often before the the the, um, the ball joint does. So that's a little annoying, but I guess it does give him a little extra look up. Is that shoulders can do a full 360 um, and they go outward as well. The thing is they're supposed to go outward here at this joint, but this joint is tighter than this joint for the transformation, which means these don't tab in or anything. They kind of just rest over this tab right here. Just rest over that. So what happens is, yeah, it's easy to accidentally, uh, I mean, it gives you more range, but also it exposes a bunch of stuff. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a little annoying that. But uh, not the end of the world in my opinion, but it is a little bit annoying because yeah. The thing, the thing that it is. A uh, bicep swivel, you got that right there. You got, you do have a double jointed elbow. Right there, see? Double jointed elbow. As such, let's out of the right real quick, because, yep, we're going to once again look at hands, which, yes, the hands do swivel on the wrist. Thumb little ball joint, which has a cut at the top, top and side, so you go up and down and also rotate. You need to, and each finger, there's one knuckle at the base and can move independently. Makes a decent looking fist overall, I guess. Not a bad looking fist, but decent. Uh, waist swivel. It's a little hindered by the, the, the backpack stuff a little bit, but not too much. I mean, this stuff does just kind of get out of the way well enough that it's not a huge problem. Is that there is the ab crunch, which is ratcheted. It's a very soft ratchet, but it's there. You can go pretty far, actually. Other thing is, once you go, if you go past this point, and you, there's a not solid click point, this means you're actually engaging the uh, the combiner port peg. 
So you have to hold this down if you're doing that because, yeah, otherwise the combiner peg will come out because it's really clever how they make it so you just, you know, do that. I like that for the transformation. Just it can come out if you just do that. So there's that. Uh, hips, of course, hip skirts can get all the way on all sides. So you got forward, back, about that far. There's no ratcheting there. Outward that far. Thighs do have a swivel. Uh, there's swivel down here, but that's more for the combined mode. You can see how it's, that good drop setting is here. It gets off center really easily. So if you, yeah, if you start doing that, yeah, it's also the thing of like, yeah, they, they're they clearly designed to work in tandem. So uh, don't use that for posability, you weirdo. Uh, knees, you got 90 degrees, you know, not much else. I mean, it's, it is what it is, but you see you got 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, but um, you got not going to be much else just because it's fairly thick leg and ankles. You got actually quite a bit of, um, tilt, which is nice. And thanks to the transformation stuff that, that came off. <laughs> That's fun. I'm going to glue that all back together. Yeah. Thanks to the transformation stuff. You do have a bit of forward tilting. I guess a little bit of back, I guess if you use the toe properly, but yeah, they're not a whole lot because of how long his foot is. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's a thing. That panel, really, I need to really figure out that panel because that's annoying me. <laughs> it was fine and then it suddenly wasn't. It was one of those things. I've had that before, you know, toy's fine and suddenly it's not fine. A real quick comparison, though. Here he is with, uh, yep, MMC's Impetus. Yeah, see, Impetus is a bit taller, but I think Impetus is also a bit lighter overall. He's a bit, yeah. So there's a, there's a bit of comparison there. That's the one. Yeah, I didn't as I I didn't feel I felt, like, felt comparing a helicopter to an ambulance was a little silly, but there you go in the robot modes just so you can have an idea. They actually have very similar heads too, which I don't know. Um, yeah, just compare both the, I guess, left arms. Um, here he is, with, here he is with Ironhide, just because, why not? Um, Ironhide knows, yeah, even though Ironhide's about the same size in van mode, he gets a bit taller, which I think more or less checks out. Again, G1 scale being what it is, is kind of iffy. I don't think First Aid appears on any of the scale charts, you know, as uh, objective as those are, until they suddenly aren't. Because why not? Here's an MP49, just because, yeah, it gives you an idea of the size. But, yep. Bit taller, bit dustier. <laughs> yeah, it gives you an idea right there. So, those comparisons, and yeah. So, Medicus, he's actually overall a pretty solid figure with a couple small flaws here and there. The, 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 for me, the person, the panel, that those two panels in the leg, one of them likes to pop off, the one of them doesn't like to stay tabbed in, the weird thing with the shoulders. The instructions overlook a couple things, like for example, one big thing is it doesn't tell you to turn to rotate the hands around properly before for going to vehicle mode, which makes things a lot easier and better. Uh, there's also that, that, that when you rotate, when you bend the elbow in the combined mode, the thing tends to pop itself apart unless you hold in a very specific spot to prevent the panels from coming loose. That's a little unfortunate. That is what it is. It might be able to. Po it might be possible if you thicken the tabs a bit with like floor polish or something, it might hold a little better and thus um, you not move as much. But I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure if that will actually work at all. As of for now, I'm just gonna go hold it, hold those, hold it down just to make sure. And there's a couple little things you can nitpick about, like you know the you know range of articulation is a little limited thanks to the um, you know it having to combine and stuff. But Overall, it's a very solid toy and about 415 bucks. Yeah, it's actually overall very solid first aid. And I know a lot of people like first aid on his own big thanks in part to the IDW comic. So if you're looking for a first aid by himself, this is actually pretty solid, good looking first aid, I think overall and looks really good. And it's a pretty fun, very fun actually transformation. MMC is really good at making these fun, smooth transformations. Very close to Takara car actually. I would say Takara is actually still the best overall at making just really nice transformations everyone else kind of feels like you know second rate honestly they like as in they work but often they're not as fun and i think mmc is one of the few companies in the third party realm that actually makes tries to make their you know transformations somewhat fun so there's that yeah overall though i really like this guy fun transformation good looking alt mode good looking robot mode the our mode is what it is i will have to see you know when it's all it's all together and, and done but 
a couple of little things, but yeah, overall, I think it's worth picking up. Definitely worth picking up. Even if it's just a standalone, honestly, I think he'll be, might be worth picking up. Just maybe you're a fan of first aid for whatever, but yeah, that's, that's a thing. I, I recommend checking them out. So, uh, that's it. I hope you found this informative entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, check out my, uh, Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime One and check out my coffee and my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.